Hello there, my name's Lee and I've been asked to help you make your very own research video. So here are just some quick tips and pointers to make your video look great. Now it can be almost impossible to hold a camera steady by yourself without shaking it, so why not try using a tripod or resting the camera on a flat, stable surface like a bookshelf or a desk. Try to avoid filming in low light, otherwise your image might appear to be very pixelated, dark and kind of gloomy. Now filming outside is a great way to add some light and energy to your video, but make sure that the sun is in front of you and not behind you, otherwise you're going to look like a very dark silhouette. Now when you get round to talking to the camera, try coming across as friendly and enthusiastic and talk in a rhythm of voice that comes naturally to you. Whereas if you read off a script or talk like this, it could come across as being a bit odd. When you start recording dialogue, try to avoid background noises like air conditioning, wind and road traffic. However, if you can't minimise background noise, why not try adding subtitles? Now when I'm talking to the camera or interviewing someone else, I feel like the shot has a much more natural, friendly kind of feeling when I can see from their shoulders up to the top of the head with a bit of space at the top there. I also think it looks better when the person stands slightly to the middle left of the frame or to the middle right of the frame, as opposed to them talking over here or standing too close to the camera or standing in the middle of the frame and talking directly to the camera, which could come across a little bit too intense. Now a really great way to make your video more interesting and engaging is to cut to multiple angles during the same scene. So here's a long shot of me putting on my shoes, getting ready to head outside. Now as I filmed all of this from a single angle, the result is a very boring, unengaging video that appears to be much longer than it really is. Now here's the same scene again but filmed from several angles. As you can see, it's now much more interesting and engaging, and I did this by recording the scene multiple times using just one camera. Well, that should be more than enough to get you started on your very own research video. I will leave you with one final tip, and that's to be careful when adding music to your video and using any video transition effects. Now, it's your turn.